Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is us, Triple M Career Guidance. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing us. And if you're already a part of us, do hit the bell icon so you do not miss any other update from us. Welcome to this versatile world of polymer engineering. In this video, we'll introduce you to this exciting field and show you how it could be a perfect choice for your career. So polymer engineering focuses on design, development and processing of polymer materials which includes plastics, composites and elastomers. Polymer engineers create innovative solutions for a wide range of applications for automotive components to sustainable packaging material. Polymer engineering graduates enjoy versatile career options across numerous industries. Some popular sectors include automotive, aerospace, consumer goods, and sustainable material. As a polymer engineer, you will play a vital role in developing advanced materials. Your work will contribute to the development of lightweight composites, degradable plastics, smart materials, and so much more. To become a polymer engineer, you'll need a bachelor's degree in polymer engineering or any other related field. This degree will provide you with a solid foundation in mathematics, physics and engineering principles along with specialized knowledge in polymer science. Some of the common job titles include material scientist, process engineer, product development engineer and project manager. Polymer engineering offers a dynamic and inclusive work environment where you will collaborate with professionals from diverse backgrounds to develop innovative materials that shape the world around us. So are you ready to mold your future with polymer engineering? Take the first step today and unleash your creativity with a career in this versatile and ever-evolving field. The subjects taught in Polymer Engineering program includes Number 1. Polymer Science So it is the introduction to the structure, properties and classifications of polymers including thermoplastics, thermosetting plastics, elastomers and biopolymers. The second one is Polymer Chemistry. It is the study of polymerization reactions including chain growth and step growth polymerization, copolymerization and techniques for molecular weight determination. The third one is polymer physics. It is the investigation of the physical properties of polymers such as viscoelasticity, glass transition, crystallinity and mechanical behavior along with the polymer structure property relationship. The next one is polymer processing. It includes the techniques and equipments used in the processing of polymers including extrusion, injection molding, blow molding, thermoforming and film casting as well as the effects of processing on material properties. The next one is polymer rheology. It is the study of the flow behavior of polymeric materials including principles of viscosity, viscoelasticity and rheumatry as well as the influence of rheological properties on polymer processing. Next one is polymer characterization. So it has the analytical techniques used to characterize polymers such as spectroscopy, thermal analysis, mechanical testing and microscopy along with the structure properties relationship in polymeric materials. The next one is polymer composites. It is the introduction to the composite materials including design, fabrication and characterization of polymer matrix composites reinforced with the fibers, particles or other fibers. Next one is polymer blends and alloys. So, it is the study of polymer blending and alloying including miscibility, phase separation and the development of materials with the tailored properties through blending. Next one is polymer nanotechnology. So, it is the exploration of nanoscale phenomena in polymers including the synthesis and application of polymer nanocomposites, nanoparticles and nanofibers. Next one is polymer degradation and stabilization. It is the investigation of the mechanism of polymer degradation such as thermal, oxidative and photodegradation as well as the stabilization techniques to improve the durability of polymeric materials. Next one is polymer recycling and sustainability. It is the study of polymer recycling technologies such as mechanical recycling, chemical recycling and energy recovery as well as the environmental impact and sustainability of polymer materials. Next one is polymer product design and engineering. So it has the applications of engineering principles to design, prototyping and manufacturing of polymer products including computer-aided design, 
finite element analysis and rapid prototyping techniques. These subjects provide a solid foundation for a career in polymer engineering, enabling the graduates to work in various industries such as automotive, aerospace, packaging, electronics, medical devices and construction wherever the polymers are extensively used. Some of the job roles and companies hiring polymer engineer in India includes number one polymer engineer. So they are responsible for developing, testing and processing polymer materials as well as optimizing manufacturing processes and ensuring product quality. So the companies hiring include Reliance Industries, SABIC, BASF and Dow Chemicals. The starting salary for a polymer engineer in India is around 3 to 5 lakh rupees per annum. The second one is R&D engineer. So they are involved in research and development of new polymer materials, formulations and applications as well as products and processes improvement. The companies hiring include 3M, St. Gobain, Avery Denison and Tata Chemicals. The starting salary for an R&D engineer in India is around 4 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The third one is application engineer. So they are responsible for providing technical support to sales teams, customers and production facilities as well as assisting in the development of new applications of polymer products. Companies hiring include ExxonMobil, Lubrizol, PolyOne and Wackerkami. The starting salary for an application engineer in India is around 4 to 7 lakh rupees per annum. The fourth one is product development engineer. So they are involved in design, development and testing of new polymer products and their manufacturing processes from concept to commercialization. Companies hiring include Mahindra Mahindra, Maruti Suzuki and MRF Tires. Starting salary for a product development engineer in India is around 4 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. Fifth one is quality assurance or control engineer. So they are responsible for ensuring the quality and compliance of polymer materials, products and processes as well as implementing quality management systems and continuous improvement initiatives. Companies hiring include Apollo Tire, Seat and Aditya Birla Groups. The starting salary for a quality assurance or quality control engineer in India is around 3 to 5 lakh rupees per annum. So the sixth one is technical sales or marketing engineer. They are involved in marketing and sales of polymer products, providing technical support to the customers and identifying new business opportunities. Companies hiring include Huntsman Corporation, Evonik, Covestro and others. The starting salary for a technical sales marketing engineer in India is around 4 to 6 lakh rupees per annum. The seventh one is process engineer. So they are responsible for the design, optimization and troubleshooting of polymer processing equipments and operations as well as ensuring production efficiency and cost effectiveness. Companies hiring include Supreme Industries, Cosmo Films and Syntex Industries. The starting salary for a process engineer in India is around 3 to 5 lakh rupees per annum. The eighth one is project engineer or manager. They are involved in planning, execution and management of polymer engineering projects, ensuring timely completion and budget adherence and technical performances. Companies hiring include Larson and Tubro, Punch Lloyd and Gale. The starting salary for a project engineer or manager in India is around 5 to 8 lakh rupees per annum depending on the scope of the project and candidate's experience. So as we know, polymers are an essential component in numerous industries such as automotive, aerospace, electronics, packaging and others. Recent trends in polymer engineering aim to address challenges in sustainability, performance and functionality. So some of the recent trends include Number one, sustainable and eco-friendly polymers. Number two, lightweight materials for transportation. Number three, conductive and smart polymers. Number four, polymer nanocomposites. Number five, additive manufacturing of polymers. Number six, self-healing polymers. Number seven, stimuli responsive polymers. And the next one is multifunctional polymer system. So these are the recent trends that will help polymer engineers grow more in their field. Let us know in the comment section what else do you want to know about polymer engineering. Please like and share the video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Keep watching Triple M Career Guidance.